Hello, welcome to the Future Caster Summit 2020. I'm Marion Lambert and here is Florent Lee and I will be asking him a few questions. Hello. Hello. Um, so, what are some of the top benefits that you see internet connectivity can bring to people everywhere? So, internet connectivity um, helps a lot in domains such as education. Mm -hmm. We can see um, high schools and universities or even schools having online courses. So, um, people who can't afford to move to another country for a university or even handicapped people who can't go to school will have the benefit of still having education thanks to the wireless, the connectivity. And we can also thank it for research and knowledge. For example, um, in the scientist domains, a lot of them use internet, of course. And also for everyday people, they have to use, uh, if they want to research something, they can just use the internet instead of going to a library, for example. What do world leaders do to ensure people everywhere have access to the transformational power of the internet? So uh, world leaders right now, the main subject is 5G. So uh, they're trying to implement it over the country so people can have a connectivity, a fast connectivity everywhere. There's also uh, 4G, which is implemented in most countries over the whole country and even in quite remote areas. What encourages you about the way digital technologies are headed in general? So right now, I would say they're more headed towards uh, artificial intelligence, which is uh, growing exponentially fast. And it's uh, very interesting because, uh, for example, we don't know um, the most of the jobs that will be in, in our near future um, because of the growth of AI and programming. And it could be very interesting because it will be what is decisive for the, our world to come. What worries you about the way digital technologies are headed? So digital technologies are headed uh, very fast and it's quite hard uh, to control it right now. Um, AI is a great example because there's a lot of ethical issues and everything is um, very, going very fast. Also, um, for example, the Facebook had some AI machines and they started talking and creating their own language, which shows that we don't really control them entirely. What do you think will be some of your top takeaways from this week's Future Caster Summit? So this week's Future Caster Summit is very interesting because we can see different people from different countries who are going to have different opinions and different points of views on different subjects which makes it very interesting and you can take away a lot of information from that. Uh, for example, in my committee, WHO, there's a, a cl very close amendments and resolutions that are quite uh, de um, debatable because some people will vote for them or against them and it ends up quite close. Well, thank you for your uh, interesting points of view. Thank you.